All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Not A Podcast. We got some very, very, very special guests in the building today. Yo, thank you for having us, Richie. Andrew Fong and David Fong. What up, man? How you guys been in town right now? Man, back home. It's great to be back and uh, love to see what you're doing. A lot of people don't know you guys are originally from Seattle, Kent, Washington. Yeah, we all grew up together. Mm -hmm. Bro, since third grade, Miss Kelly's class. Wow, you brought a Miss Kelly. Today, we are going to be going over the five hype sneakers in 2019 that we're looking forward to and not looking forward to. Man, you know what I like to say, Richie? I don't know all the details about every shoe release. But I got opinions. I, I come up with some stuff. Yeah. That's why I wanted to present these to you guys. These are uh, sneakers that a lot of people are talking about right now. Right. Resale is going to be crazy. Either they're a flop or they're just going to go berserk. Who knows? But they are hype. <laughs> You're saying these are the sneakers that are generating a lot en- of talk. The engagement on the internet. Yes, mm. sir. All right. They're talking about Hot takes format, Gabe. Minute and a half. I say we do a minute and a half instead of a minute. because uh, we, we like to talk. Yeah. We like to talk. All right, number one, three hundred dollars okay. releasing okay. this <clears throat> week. We got the Adidas Seven Hundreds. You mm-hmm. guys know what those yeah, are—the yeah, wave yeah, runners yeah. in a uh, magnet colorway. Let me know. Bam! I like them. Really? Way better than the like. First of all, I know you like the V Twos. I hate the V Twos. The gray ones? I, I just don't like them. Way cleaner yeah, than the V Ones. They just look. They just look too. I think this looks different, and I like this colorway. I would I was saying this on the channel recently. I'm totally off dad sneakers. 2019 okay. officially dad shoes out. Would you consider this a dad's like For a sure. dad of the dad though? This is like oh, the yeah. definition of no, a dad. No, this is this is a dad sneaker. And I'm off that. So you just categorically 20, just the whole in label. In 2019, you're off. you get the pass a little bit to rock them still cuz you have them in your wardrobe. But 2020 off them. That's you know, not be different. Can why, I be different though? Why does every single colorway of the 700 <laughs> essentially <laughs> be driven from some uh, rock quarry? Whoa. I like that. Hold up. It <laughs> does seem like every sneaker is like derived from a different element of the earth. Yeah. Like That's he was cool. at Sunday service out there and was like, yo, the next colorway going to be this rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sediment. <laughs> Sed- what are you wearing? This looks no. like something from the earth. It's what? almost like anywhere he goes, he tells people to dig a hole about 15 feet into the earth. And then he just picks, you know, That's the, the colorway. Is- That's yeah, a good right. point. I never thought about how earth Tony his sneakers are. I don't think y'all understand Kanye. Can you drop some red October? What think- happened to the red October just- vibes? Red is not a real color you see in like life. Wow. He's okay. going earth because you know what? He is about no, life. Kanye, he is about life. He is I'm about just saying life. Kanye got a philosophy behind these colorways and I respect it. All right. So uh, CZ. you're not looking forward to. Oh, you're looking forward I to like him. Em. Not looking forward to him. I'm going to have to go and say not looking forward to him. Oh, I'm excited oh, for me. that Yeezy basketball sneaker. You know what I like <laughs> about it? It looks it looks like a conch shell. A what? This. What's that? Ooh. The magic conch shell. Conch shell? You mean one of the ones that you hold up from the ocean? Yeah. How was I supposed to know what that was? <laughs> you were supposed to. Oh, you were supposed to say the phone shell. shell. Seashell. Yeah. What'd you call it? A conch shell. A conch shell. Conch is a certain type of. Uh, conch is what is, is the original animal that. The really? original animals live inside the, she- the shells. Cause you know, like the little crab, the crab. <laughs> you know they be walking. You know they sell them at the mall sometimes. Yo, I'm not the hood biologist. Tan is all right. He's the hood biologist. All right. Tan. Pop up a picture of a con. All right, all right, all right. All right. So next up, we got the Hirachi September 13th right here. 350 bucks. Self lacing. Have you seen these in action? You guys want me I've, to show I've- you? Year 3000. They make the noise. Come on, the noise. And Yo. you could change the color Yo, that, of the lights. That noise, that's the music. All right, so uh, looking forward so to man. these or not looking forward to these. These are kind of like groundbreaking right now. I know you were saying at one point a little gimmicky. I did say that self lacing shoes were gimmicky. Um, I take it back. Wow. Oh. After seeing the, uh, you like a little video, huh? Yeah, with the uh, sound effect and everything. You know what it is? Jeff Staple I, I, thought the, uh, back. I thought the BB Adapt was gimmicky. Okay, for basketball. Yeah, but I think that now that I see every evolutionary step, 
I'm like, I, I see the vision. Okay. How, 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 how it only it, took how, you to second step to. Uh, how, how is it different? How is it different than the BBs? Like what's you so see the wires? <laughs> the wires. Hold on, we gotta give him the womp womp for that. He said the wires. You see, you see the wire. The wire. Right, you can't listen. see the wires. No, no, no. The listen, BBs. can I say I? This is cool, but I just don't think they're gonna like sell out. Like I don't think. Oh, these are no, no, selling sorry. out. Trust I mean, like, me. I mean, how many people are gonna like buy them though? They're selling out. They're okay, selling they're out. selling out. No, I agree. At that price point, the BBs, the BBs were actually ugly. These aren't ugly. Yeah, that's the a BBs good point. had a bad shape and like they didn't. They had the weird Nike sign. They didn't look like basketball shoes. They looked yeah. like cross trainers. I'm, I'm these tell you. look. You, these would be dope even without the safe self lacing system. Let me make my statement. I am not on the adapt yet. I think the next next version I will be. Okay. What about you? You took I'm not your, on this one. I'm you not like on them, this one. Said. Convince me. All right. All right. All right, so uh, next sneaker man, Travis Scott, recently debuted these at Made in America Festival. He gave them to a fan. Yeah. You know, he's he's for the people. Yo, he's, he's, he's uh, you can connect with them. He's yeah. accessible. Air Force One's right here. He had originally had the sale, then the white. Those sold out completely, had the uh, Velcro straps and everything. So now he has a different you know, iteration of some Air Force Ones. Let me know. What are those patterns? So you kind of have you like identify. I can, I can't, I can't. You kind of have like a. It looks like almost like a map. These are just just debuted. They have like a shroud over. In my opinion, they're whack. That looked like Gucci's Halloween <laughs> collection. No, a zombie Gucci. That's just like you know stitched to get Frankenstein. Hey, that I looks like some Frankenstein. Absolutely shit. nothing exciting about them. I don't like those at all. The sale and the white, you know, the original forces. Did you like those with the chrome Nike check marks? Like you them. could cool. replace. They had the cover over. The, I thought it was uh, a cool concept. Yeah, yeah. You had like three different check marks you could replace with. Even you could put three Nike. I mean, what do you three on do top with? of each other, right? You, or something like that. Yeah. And then Nike really rolled out that like replaceable swoosh thing. Yeah. I, this one right here, I would say gr gr looking. Yo, I, I will hey, say yo, shout it, out to the zipper on the front. That's kind of interesting, oh. but. I'm not feeling it. Hey, I like those zero percent. Hey, if you try to be real spooky, spooky, huh? These are you, spooky. You know what's cool ones. though? You can hold some like money or like a pair of keys underneath. Uh, time. All I right. Was, now looking forward to these. All right. So next sneaker man number four. You guys know how we feel about these on the channel. Uh, Johnny was saying he's gonna cop 14 pairs until we actually saw actual photos. We got the Shattered Backport 3.0s. Did you guys mm. know the 1.0s, 2.0s go for upwards to $1,000? Really? Yo, That's how sought out there. Pair. That's, that I know, bro. That, like that reddish bucks. tangerine orange or whatever that is, I don't know what's the exact, what's the what's Oh, the so that's pale color? vanilla and then that's starfish. <laughs> oh, how did you know that? Oh, I, I did my research. <laughs> <laughs> that That is a really striking orange. Okay, so you're saying the shade of orange. What'd you think, David? Like I, or no, I like, try to have the patent leather not be regular patent leather. Do try to mimic the look of a shattered backboard. Richie, we both, I like those. I told you I like really? them. Why do you hate them? Do you think that if people had never had the expectation that it was going to be like the original one, they would like them more? Mm, you know how there's a, good a, point. There's a, a level good point. of disappointment because yeah. you're like, that's what they wanted. They wanted a bread one, but orange. But I just from the jump, it had that alligator shiny, like almost high end women's designer bag vibe to it you know what i'm saying i, I yeah. like it i like it because i've never seen a shoe like that got it got it got and it. that's why i like I, it, it looks, not looking forward to not looking forward to fair. i'm looking forward to it i don't know about it looks feminine feminine because okay. it looks like a high-end women's handbag i see what you're saying i see where you're really colorful i feel like that's too many connections not colorful, for me i, I think I, you I, don't I would rock it i know what you mean look like a no 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 you know who's i get i get poochie Poochie I mean, fake Gucci? is a more no no. If you guys it's know a brand, right? That's more yeah. only the Italiano was know about that more than Gucci. Gucci's a global one. Well, I barely know about Gucci, so I'm not gonna know about Poochie. All right, all right. All right. Well, Poochie not looking forward to. Not looking forward to. Nine point five. I mess with them. All right, so last but not least, man, we have the Sakai Waffles right here. One of the most hype sneakers of this mm. year. LeBron's always rocking them. They gave them to, uh, who's that tennis player? The um, the one that just won? Droverick or whatever? No, 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 the female, the female. Nate. 
You know my- Naomi, Naomi Saka? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they Naomi Saka, yeah. Yeah, she been rocking these. Like, yeah. they give them to a lot of Nike athletes. Yeah. These are hype right now. Upwards to 600, 700 bucks Ooh. on StockX. What do you think about them? They kind of have like this off-white vibe with the double tongue, the double um, uh, midsole right here, double laces. So I've seen a lot of people that I know, a lot of like fashion influencers that are not really into sneakers and hype piece gear, rock those. Yes. Like it's a lot more, of like Soho type high vibes. end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Sakai is a designer, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's, they needed something to interface with and, their world. And it just doesn't look like a performance All right, all right let me just say this. My hot take. The magic's gone. Wow. The magic's gone from this batch. I like it. I like it. The magic is gone. I think they should have dropped when they originally debuted. Right. You're talking about for the fashion house people that like those Ricardo Tichy. Like I'm talking Chelsea Ma. Shout out to our friend Chelsea Ma. <laughs> she, she might get 15 pairs of those. I can see her with them. I can yeah. see her with them. Okay. You're, you're looking from a different, lens, a different lens. A different lens. A fashion I'm lens. I'm talking about the, to me, those scream international. Like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been in Shanghai for three weeks. Like, that's what I wear. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. Sakai. Not looking forward to. Not looking forward to. What do you think? I'm looking forward to the fashion people wearing them. I'm not going to get them. Yeah, not going to get them. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out that Not A Podcast. Five hype sneakers we are looking forward to in 2019 and not looking forward to. Man, shout out to David and Andrew. Let them know where they can find you guys. Man, check out our channel. We're going to leave the description, the, the link down yes, below. Sir. Fung Bros. Man, maybe we some still of you guys it. Maybe Listen. some of you guys haven't checked out the channel in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Can I say I was uh people have been catching me lately on that Curology commercial on Instagram. Oh, and I was lot, on that for a minute too. Yeah, you know what's funny? I, I read the comments like, oh, who is this guy, man? I thought he he died off off YouTube. I had never thought of him in a long time. I was like, oh, okay. Alright. You got something for that ass? What? I say you got something for them. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for checking out that Nada podcast. Shout out to David and Andrew. Make sure you guys check out their YouTube channel and their social media down in the description box below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.